join us on another exciting edition of Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami, coming up on today's episode of the program. A love left untainted is like a garden on garden. Oh. Oh, where the sweetest fruits are plucked by those who tend to the I will have my... The grand finale of the Beta Playwright competition. <laughs> Then two generations of artists exhibit African contemporary works of art. We have that and more when we turn in a moment. Do stay with us. Art is solace. Art is vision. And when I pick up a literary work, I am a consumer of literature for its own sake. The grand finale of the Beta Playwrights competition took place at the Muson Center in Lagos. Let's take a look at what went down. We unveil the top 10 finalists of BPC 6 2003. 24. After an intensive ride, which took months of writing, training, and research, it comes down to the grand finale of the beta competition for young playwrights, which is the sixth in the series. What did they say? A love left untainted. It's like a garden on garden. Oh. Oh. Where the sweetest fruits are plucked by those who tend to the I will have my garden on garden. Unless it is tended to by strange Ah! Ah! I need your help. Listen, you will forever be the object of my primary thoughts, the item of my obsession, the article of my admiration. I don't know. You will be my angry appetite, my lingering fixation. I do you will be my hunger to something and beauty of my rules. I forever be my satisfaction. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. My husband, mm -hmm. when you want sweet as an ocean, I will be glad in this place. The plays, written by eight of the contestants who made the final cut, are being performed at the Muso stage in Lagos, so the judges, who are thoroughbred professionals, can get a feel of what they have done. So wife is in the same hands. I think it's okay. Maggie, I am not saying she's not in the same hands. All I am requesting for as a husband is to see my wife in the body. edition was quite intriguing for me because as a writer myself uh, having to read through all the applications that came through was quite inspiring you know this I want to say that these new writers are part of the new narratives that we want for our country because the stories are quite diverse you know they they, 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 they showcase a multicultural um, face for our country uh, in terms of language, in terms of the characters that were developed, they were fully formed, we were so excited when we were working on this project. So my pet is a cry. Did I say so? Did I say so? I only said 
How is it described? How is it in your own life? We show the youth who felt he had to respond to everything his body needed, his body said. The mother. May God bless her spirit wherever she is. Even if I had big opportunity, she already came up with the story on what was happening to her poor James Roma. She came up with the story. She said to me, the man who planted this seed in my belly is a traveler I love, and he will be my bride Christ when he returns. She knew it was better to say she was rotting for opening her legs for a stranger than to say she slept with a man from her clan. It was an, an abomination. It should not have happened. That's what I'm saying. So the performance have been have been good so far. We're really happy. We're happy with all our past winners. We're also happy with today's performances. What we tried to do was take at least a scene from the top ten finalists. Also, so that to give the um, 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 finalists an idea of what their plays will look like when they come alive on stage. So that's what we tried to do. Just get a bit of it and also give the audience a teaser of what they will see when we finally produce the play. The theme for this year, it has been penned in various angles, and since they are playwrights, it's essential to have a look at how it comes out on stage. Oh, I see. Uh, mother. Yes, doctor. I am mother. Mm -hmm. The one and only way of dancing is, I am the only one he has. All right. Um, have you seen those? Not yet. I have a few people who are going to accident. No problem. <laughs> and he comes out alive. We are getting close to the gate. My husband and the woman are alive. Oh! And you, my husband, and one ugly woman. Wait, that one. Is she even a woman? My husband and one ugly woman. Um, Maya, your husband owes you um, is it, uh, an explanation. Excuse me, doctor. Here we go again. Medical secrets. Medical secrets. I don't even want to talk about that one. I am not surprised at you. One day you will probably be in a dandelion shoes. Who knows if you're not? Excuse me, Mama. The competition was inspired by the need to fill the vacuum in documenting contemporary playwrights. So a winner has emerged. And I'm here to announce the first runner-up for the sixth Bisa Playwright Competition. And that person is Mr. Cheta Ibokwe, meaning that Olaide Nurat Mohammed is our new winner. <laughs> I'm very happy for the winner today and I know and it's a woman and for me as a woman I'm very excited so I know that um, 
Olaide is going to go ahead to do many great things and many opportunities will emerge from this for her. I'm just really thankful that we are here as a springboard for the next generation of playwrights in Nigeria. The theme for her, for her story is quite uh, relevant till today, postpartum uh, the, the depression or, and issues, you know, so it's quite relevant today. It's something that people should uh, pay attention to, uh, which is why we always tell writers and storytellers that your stories have to be relevant. They have to make, you know, be there. they have to make sense. They have to be part of today. Don't just write for writing's sake, you know. You have to make an impact. So we're particularly glad and we're happy that she, she won this edition. We look for authenticity and originality. That's what we look for in the place that, uh, you know, we assess. We want an authentic story that is, you know, um, very organically Nigerian, you know, that understands that it's the Nigerian audience that will consume it. We look for that. We also look for, you know, proper structure, you know, because the plays are universal. They are written universally all over the world. So we like things that have proper structure, proper acts and scenes and all of that. And also, we also look for, you know, the, you, you know, a, a play that can translate both on stage and also as a book. You know, our past winners have gone on to do phenomenal things and a lot of the plays we have produced have resonated with audiences far and wide. So those are the things that we look for. Oh, I don't have the right word for it. All I was just, I'm, I feel good. I'm happy, I'm grateful that finally my work was recognized and now I've made a play, um, the winner. Nurturing a breed of new voices is key to improving the performing arts sector and celebrating young writers that can tell contemporary stories. Never, never. about grooming the next generation of playwrights. Way to go. We're taking a moment now. Art House returns with more. Do stay with us. Our wordsmith for today is written by Priscilla Posey, titled The Black Power. The artwork is by Tomiwa Delago. Whoever first saw the black child and called her a monster was nothing but a fraudster. It was only a cover for his shallow mind. I wonder who it was to first see a child of color and give them nothing but scorn and try to place his skin as a pun, forgetting that we all existed in God's honor. The four letters of love are abandoned in misery. The five letters of black are seen as a threat. Unity became a mystery. Equality is a myth told by folklore. Our talent buried within was our power, received from God. We all have gifts, and that only proves that our power is power. And these are the works of art you sent in recently. Let's begin with this work done by Odo. It's called Holistic Redemption. It's done with metal, marble, 
and gloss. Then this pen artwork is called One Love by Samson. Then the one time encounter is a watercolor on paperwork by David. Water shortage is a watercolor on paperwork as well by Solomon. Then Osas Irabo has a digital painting called Purity. Alexandra is asking everyone to trust your intuition with this mixed media on canvas work. Elegance in Diversity is a work done by Bakari Babatunde with oil and Ankara fabric on canvas. Then this digital painting, also with oil paint on canvas, is a work by Emaxi Art, titled In His Hands. Wrap things up with this work done by Wilson Felix, it's called Eran Boy, is an acrylic on canvas piece. And that concludes the works of art you sent in recently. We really appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. Contemporary African artists present an exhibition of African art at the Freedom Park here in Lagos. These two artists are from different worlds, but they've come together to showcase their contemporary African works of art at the Freedom Park in Lagos. Here today we have the works of Sylvester Buda and Todowa Lokwa Jai. Um, they are both mis mixed media artists. Tolubalakwa is also a stone artist. That is, she uses stone to create art. And we have here we have works showing um, the different pieces from both artists, talking about African stories, talking about our people, you know, our diversity as a people, our culture, different cultures, you know, and the different resources that Africa is blessed with. This exhibition we have works here, different stories. That has to do with works. Multi-talented creative Sylvester Guda has taken many artists under his wing. Tulua Lokwajaye is one of them. She's a mixed media artist who experiments with diverse material and recycled product, exploring topics about the African continent. I graduated from the University of Lagos where I studied creative arts and my area of concentration was painting. And I also have a master's degree in theater arts at the University of Ibado. And I've been painting since my University of Lagos days till now. That's uh, over almost 10 years. And my, my, I can say that my art has evolved, like it has really developed from what it used to be to what it is now. Her paintings depict a synergy of lifestyle and tradition through the use of powerful abstract and realistic forms with a palette that has colorful hues with red and black taking prominence which shows strength, energy and the beautiful culture of the people. Works I have here for this exhibition are African and this exhibition is showcasing African works because the whole um, theme for the celebration is the celebration event which also portrays Africa. So my works are African and um, we can see um, from the artworks we have paintings of African women, 
and then other symbols like we have something from Ghana I have something from Ghana where I used Adinkra symbols to um, represent the African culture as well then I also have NCBD which is from Cross River and it also spread to other southeastern states in Nigeria we also have the, a work that we used to we are using to honor Baba Fela you will see them among the works here um, Fela is one, he was very pro-African, very pro-African and here today we have those um, the, uh, works here to honor him. That's why we also have works here that has that are stories that are pro-African, stories that is, you know, talking about our struggles as a people and, you know, the freedom fight that some of us have been doing and, of course, celebrating us and that's, so that's how we're able to link it to celebration, following what Fela has done, what he what what he did in his lifetime trying to push a beautiful image a positive image of africa this exhibition is doing that so. stonism is the latest experimentation in which she uses stones to make art an idea born of the passion for new creations and innovation stonism is something i started in 2019 I'm not the first stone artist though, but I decided to make it a movement because I feel like it's something that people have not really explored. Like it's a method people have not really explored. I've seen other uh, artworks where people either paint on stone or use stone to create artworks. But I realized that a lot of people have not delved into that aspect of art. And I feel like it's something that we should also look into. So I decided to make it a, a movement, which I call the Stonism Art Movement, which is the art of making artworks or painting with stones. From this exhibition, I want few viewers to go home with the fact that um, Africa is blessed. Go home with the fact, be inspired to do better, be inspired to do greater. Do not let anything limit you. I know there are times when it's, you know, it's not so rosy, it's not so fine, but, you know, keep pushing yourself, keep doing that. And one day you will get, definitely you'll be rewarded for every hard work, for every good thing you, you're putting into Mother Nature, that you're putting into Africa. Nature will find a way to give it back to you in positive forms. As for Aguda's art, it explores his growing interpretation of love for Africa, interactions, experiences, human knowledge, the beauty of the African woman, and nature appreciation. We enjoy some pieces by female artists, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. Coming up on Art House. We celebrate the beauty of females in the creative field from contemporary artist Odum Orimalade's exhibition at the Co Gallery in Lagos. Then we head to the heart of Ikorodu in Lagos to enjoy the work processes and creations of fast rising artist Faith Michael. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing, and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. Thank you so much for being a big part of it. And I look forward to interacting with you on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Keep the creative spirit alive.